Multi-camera editing is a really cool feature in Adobe Premiere. It allows you to take multiple camera angles and quickly switch between them to edit a sequence. If your camera settings are all the same and you have a single clean audio source, then this process is a breeze. Just select the two clips and we can right click and create a multi-camera source sequence. Unfortunately, in this example, I have a more complicated setup that would need to manually prep these clips to create a successful multi-camera edit. Let's take a look at the setup to get a better idea of what I'm talking about. As you can see, I have two cameras, camera A and camera B framing our subject. Camera A is recording at 4K with two audio inputs. I have a lav mic on the subject recording to the left channel and a shotgun mic recording to the right channel. As a saying from my colleague, one mic equals no mics and two mics equals one mic. This is done to ensure that we have clean audio and a backup if needed. Camera B is recording at 1080 and we're using the internal microphone of the camera to help sync and premiere. Because we're recording at two different resolutions and the audio channel issues, I'll need to adjust my source before I can do the multi-camera edit. So now that we know the setup, let's take a look at the project. I'll first open up camera A in the source monitor by double clicking on it. I'm going to take a look at the audio of this clip and here you will see that we have two different audio sources in the left channel and in the right channel. Now we only want to use one of the waveforms as our main audio source as both are playing at the same time which produces a slight echo that can be distracting. Both sound great and we'll just have to pick one. We'll use an audio effect to do this a little bit later. Camera B is a profile shot. As you can see here we can use this footage to hide cuts and make the interview more fluid. The audio is terrible, as to be expected, so we'll just delete it a little later. Now that we have our two clips, I'm going to make a sequence which will be our multi-camera source sequence. To do this, I'm going to take camera B and drag it to the little piece of paper with the corner flipped up to create a sequence. And then I'm going to take camera A and put it at the top in V2. Now, Camera A is larger because it's shot at 4K, while camera B was shot at 1080. So we'll just have to adjust the size and do a post crop. To do this, I'll select the clip, I'll go to the effects controls, and I can use scale and position to choose and frame this shot to whatever I like. So I'll adjust the scale, and I'll adjust the X and Y, or we could also double click on it here in the program monitor and frame it up manually. Let's go with that. Now that I have both clips inside of the sequence, what I'm going to do is do two things. Synchronize it and then also choose either the left or right channel in the audio to be our source. So first off, let's go ahead and adjust the audio. I'll select the audio from camera A and we'll go to our effects. And what we'll do here is select an audio effect that will allow us to fill in the left channel with the right audio or fill in the right channel with the left audio. Sounds confusing, but it's pretty easy. If we open up the audio effects, scroll down to special, you can see here we have two effects that we can use, fill left with right or fill right with left. Again, we'll have to play this back and listen to it, but in this case, we can go with either or, which, which, which sounds great. I'm going to grab the left with right, place this onto audio A2, and now we can synchronize the two clips together and make sure that the clips are perfectly aligned so that when we do the multi-camera edit, there's not going to be an audio issue with them desynced. So I'll select both clips, I'll right click on it, and we're going to use an option called synchronize. Here we're going to synchronize these two clips by audio and click OK. And with the little Adobe magic, we have the two clips lined up perfectly. I'm going to slide these over here. And what I want to do is delete the audio from our camera B angle. Again, it's not that great. It was just to use for the synchronize feature. So what I'll do is I'll turn off this link option here in my timeline, select the audio for camera B, and we'll just simply hit delete. There you go. This is our multi-camera source sequence ready to go. There's a few more steps to achieve our editing with the multi-camera program monitor, 
So let's take a look at that right now. I'll go back to my project panel. You'll see here that this sequence here is our source sequence. So let's name it that. I'll go ahead and call this my multicam source sequence. SEQ. And now we can use this in an actual project. So I'm going to take this and drag and drop it to the piece of paper to create a new sequence. This will be our interview project. So I'm going to rename it as such. Roman interview. And now what we could do is enable the multi-camera editing on this nested sequence so that we can use our program monitor to toggle from camera A to camera B, camera B easily. To do this, we're going to right click on the clip and we're going to first go to multi-camera and enable it. Again, if we don't do this step, we won't be able to use our program monitor to switch from camera A to camera B. So this is a crucial step that we need to do in this manual setup. So I'll go ahead and click enable. It's been enabled. And now we're gonna go ahead and turn on our toggle multi-camera view. To do this, I'm going to hit the plus sign. I can take this multi-camera view option button and drop it into my tools here at the bottom. Click OK. And now when I enable it, you can see here we have camera one and camera two ready to go. So as I play this, I can simply click on these two different cameras, these two different angles, and start creating my cut. So I'll hit play, and then I can switch my the two cameras by simply clicking varies. on these little uh, icons. Here. Typically, I really like working with the video. And you can see here, there are my cuts. So it's, it's a little lengthy process, but sometimes you're gonna need to do this, especially again, if you don't have two cameras that are shooting at the same resolution, we have an audio issue, you know, set it up manually, and you can make sure that everything works perfectly before you do the multi-camera edit.